Yo, what's going on guys? Simply Pops here, and today I'm going to be comparing the iPad Pro versus the Samsung Galaxy Fold, or should I say Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G. You guys get the idea. If you guys don't know, the Samsung Fold, it folds into a tablet, and you can convert it right back into a phone. I'm having a lot of fun with this device. Stay tuned for my review. Now, by the way, this is an iPad Pro. This is an LTE edition, so you can basically take this anywhere on the go. This is activated. I could still take this with me, but also the Galaxy is a phone, so this is kind of like a tablet in a sense. You could still do all your bells and whistles. But yeah, I think this will be an interesting comparison. I'm going to do a speed test. I'm also going to play a couple of games. Now, since this is a comparison video, why don't we talk about the specifications first? Starting with the iPad Pro, this is the 2018 model. This has the A12X chip, which is still kicking butt to this day. The resolution of the 11 inch model is 1668 by 2388 and with a PPI of 265. Okay, and this has an 82% screen to body ratio. Also, you have the beautiful silky smooth 120 hertz refresh rate. Um, this is running the latest version of iPad OS. So this is iPad OS 14.0.1. And in terms of RAM, this has four gigabytes of RAM, but if you get the one terabyte model, it has uh, six gigabytes of RAM, but the 2020 iPad Pro has six gigabytes of RAM across the board. The Galaxy Z Fold is packing a 7.6 inch display. We talking about the inner display and it has an 88% screen to body ratio. So it has smaller bezels compared to the iPad Pro, which is pretty impressive. And it has a higher PPI at 373, which is that's higher than the iPad, that's insane. And the resolution is 1768 by 2208 pixels. So that's the screen resolution. And of course you got that beautiful 120 Hertz refresh rate. I absolutely love the 120 hertz refresh rate. Too. Is it, you know, it's, it's more than a luxury feature, but I just feel like once you see it and you use it, it's kind of, it's not going to be hard to go back to 60 hertz, but it's just something that you adore. Now, of course, this is a super AMOLED display. So yeah, so you're going to get rich blacks, vibrant colors, um, while the iPad Pro has a LCD display. Now, talking about the front cover, this is packing a 6.2 inch display. Now what's powering this beast is the Snapdragon 865 Plus. This has 12 gigabytes of RAM with 256 gigabytes of internal storage. My iPad Pro also have 256 gigabytes of storage too as well. All right, so now that we have all that stuff out the way, why don't we just open up some apps, play some games, and do a Geekbench score? So why don't we get started? Now first things first, I'm gonna clear all the applications in the background. So we're gonna tap on that clear all, or close all. And of course I have all my apps Close now. So I don't have no apps running in the background and then towards the end of the video, we're going to actually launch back up those applications and see if it memorized in the background. So let's see how good iOS optimization is good and let's see if those 12 gigabytes of RAM is really that worth it on a device like this. So without further ado, let's open up some stock applications such as the calendar. So where's my calendar app? Let me just search it up. So calendar app in three, two, one. So like about the same, I would say. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you guys, you know, if I got it wrong or whatever, but that was like about the same. Um, why don't we open up the web browser? So web browser in three, two, one. And honestly, guys, oh, I got to do an update for Samsung Internet. Uh, I'm going to do that later, but that was about the same. Okay, let's see. Let's see what app can we open up. Why don't we open up the settings app? <laughs> All right, so settings app in three, two, one. Guys, this is exactly the same. All right, let's open up the camera. That's a very intensive app. So we're typing camera. So the camera app in three, two, one. It's kind of hard to tell. Let me see. I'm going to flip it around so I can see it better. And then we're going to close that out and do that again. I just want to be able to see it. I think it was about the same two yet again, which is pretty insane. Like both of these are performing exactly the same so far. So camera application one more time in three, two, one. All right, I think the iPad Pro loaded that one faster, just a smidge faster, but not that much big of a difference though. I was gonna say, let's open up the calculator application, but the iPad doesn't have a calculator app, so that's unfortunate. Okay, why don't we open up my photo gallery? Let me make sure the ghost is clear. I think we good though. Uh, three, two, one. Yeah, guys, like exactly the same here. And that's pretty impressive because normally iPhones load up apps faster and stuff like that. But surprisingly, it's like a tie here. 
Um, why don't we switch it up? Let's open up some third party applications and see what that's looking like. Um, you know what? Before I even do that, let me open up the clock. I think this is going to be the same too. Uh, three, two, one. Yeah, exactly the same. All right, so why don't I open up Instagram? Oops, I didn't want to do that. All right, Instagram in three, two, one. Okay, that was faster on the Note. I'm sorry, faster on the Galaxy Z Fold. Okay, interesting stuff. But as you guys can see, Instagram isn't optimized on neither one of these devices. You got black bars here. Technically, this is the iPhone app. And yeah, I don't know why we don't have an Instagram app on the iPad. And on the Galaxy, you have these black bars, so it's not optimized. All right, so Twitter in three, two, one. It's way faster on the, on the Z Fold, like way faster. But right after, we have the iPad still holding it up like a champ. All right, let's open up YouTube in three, two, one. Okay, right first on the, oh, Tech Kaboom. If you can crack the screen, you'll get a new iPhone challenge. I love this channel, man. Oh, you got a hands-on of the PS5 controller? All right, I got I to gotta watch a lot of YouTube after this video. But yeah, that was faster on the, on the Galaxy. But literally right after, right after we had the iPad. All right, let's open up Twitch. By the way, follow me on Twitch at Simply Pops. Okay, in three, two, one. Faster on the full two. And yeah, man, this is amazing. This is incredible. Okay, of course, we have Kaboga. <laughs> you know, out here trying to see what's going on with these scammers. Of course, I got an ad. And they both have picture in picture. So yeah, really no no slouch when it comes down to app speeds. And even if I go back, we're going to go back for a little bit and see if those apps remember in the background. This is very important. We got to see how well Samsung optimized the, the RAM usage versus Apple. Um, so let's go back to the calendar app. And it seems to me that the iPad we had to refresh because I saw it jumped a little bit. But the Samsung remembered it like a champ. Um, so let's also go back. We're going to go back into the internet. Where Didn't I just have the internet? Oh, yeah, right here. So let's go back to the internet. Have to refresh on the iPad. This is still remembering like a champ. So the Galaxy Z Fold, man, this is just a certified beast all around. It's just like anything you throw at it, it's going to definitely handle it like, oh, my God. Those days that people saying, oh, Android, oh, you got an Android, oh, you you can have a good Android phone too, you know. So if even if I bring in Apple's latest and greatest chip, technically it's the A14 chip, but that's on the iPad Air, which is not out yet. But I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Let me just slide in a comparison real quick. Um, so I have my iPhone 11 Pro Max versus the Galaxy Fold 2. Calculator app, 3, 2, 1. It is, I think the animations too. I think iOS drags out the animations too long. All right, opening up the Facebook app in three, two, one. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. Now, rest in peace to my boy Mingo. That's definitely like, I can't believe, yo. Can't believe my boy Mingo gone. But yeah, man, like, this is incredible. Those days that people saying, oh, iOS is faster than Android, that's completely false. You guys can see it's on par with the A13 chip. And like I said, I'm not sure about the A14 chip, but these chips are so fast now that it's hard to really compare. <laughs> I mean, let's let's move back on to the iPad. Maybe this is an interesting comparison too. All right, so the moment you all been waiting for, gaming on both the Galaxy Fold versus the iPad Pro. Now, occasionally I game on my iPad, but now that I have the Fold, I actually was playing Call of Duty yesterday. And I was just having that much fun as I was playing on my iPad. That's kind of what made me want to make this video because it's like, yo, this is just like an iPad. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, let me just launch up Call of Duty on both devices in 3, 2, 1. Okay. Now, the problem with the Fold, though, once you, once you launch up Call of Duty on the cover screen, which is the front screen, and you try to open it up, the app is going to crash. It's not, you, you're stuck on one screen. But yeah, you, you can't close it and then go back. You can't just do that. And, you, and let's say you want to try to go back to Call of Duty. 
it's gonna say restart Call of Duty. Some apps does not support resizing while running. Um, so I'm gonna kill that off, and we're gonna kill this off, and we're gonna do that again. Three, two, one. And they are off. Yeah, so iPad actually loaded that one faster. And of course, we could sign in. And technically, I don't know why it's asking me to sign in here again. I don't think you can log into two devices. I think that's the problem. Yeah, I forgot it does that. So, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to play a game on one device and then I'm going to switch it back. It's a lot easier to hold though, I can tell you that. I'm trying to find the fire button. The fire button. Mm. How would you end it like that, man? Target in sight. Yo, I gotta get a controller, bro. Lost that round, but it's not over yet. Ready up. Now something to keep in mind of, you can maximize the frame rate. Uh, getting yourself a controller, this will work on the PS4 or Xbox One controller.
And guys, both of these devices definitely scream performance. Um, I don't have a problem gaming on either the iPad or the Fold 2. Both of these devices are just simply amazing for games. Uh, maybe for the Fold 2, it's easier to hold in the hand, so it's easier to reach the controls than the iPad. But nonetheless, you can still connect a uh, controller and still be good. All right, so now what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go back to the first app that I launched. And we're going to see if it recognized in the background. Boom, right there instantly. Even the iPad, it forgot what position it got to go. It remembers all the apps that I launched up in the background. Look, the iPad, the refresh. It's kind of like a spoiler to my review, but this phone is just a beast. Look, it exactly left off with... Hey guys, yo, to the yo, the guys. Hit... Twitch, after all those games, it still remember what I was watching Kaboga. So it's like, wow, the Galaxy Fold, yo, speechless. The iPad, to refresh the whole app. The 12 gigabytes of RAM definitely comes in handy on the fold compared to just the four gigabytes on the iPad. Now let me launch up a Geekbench score and let's get the final numbers. So let's launch up Geekbench in three, two, one. Okay, load it up first. We accept. And I'm gonna run, I'm gonna keep all the apps running in the background. And okay, the iPad finished first. And we at 90% on the full two. And yeah, as you guys can see, the iPad is 1122 single. And 46.22 multi-core score. Pretty solid numbers though. Especially that this came out in 2018. Not too shabby. And Apple even utilized the same chip on the brand new iPad Pro. It's just only a, a GPU performance. But CPU is exactly the same. But the Fold, it has a 947 single and 3096 multi-core score. But honestly, running these apps... It's, it's like it's exactly the same speed but clearly as you guys can see the iPad is faster but you guys saw the real world test is exactly pretty much the same exact performance if not faster on the Fold 2. I absolutely love my Fold 2 stay tuned for the review I just it's kind of hard to put this phone down because it's like I'm getting an iPad experience I'm getting a tablet it's like I'm getting an awesome tablet experience and then I could put this in my pocket and use it as a phone. It's just, it's incredible, man. It's easily one of my favorite tech of the year, but it's hard to recommend this phone at $2,000 because really think about it. You can get the next gen consoles, right? The Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5 for $1,000, maybe pick up a monitor and you could still, you get what I'm saying? And you still have a little money left to spare. And even think about it, you could build a PC for $2,000. Yeah, it, it's a good phone, it's a good, it's an amazing piece of technology. But for that price tag, man, two grand, man, that hurts. <laughs> that hurts. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy, I appreciate it with a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on and comment down below. Your feedback is always appreciated. All right, guys, until next time, peace.